Jaden Ivey says, and I'm gonna talk about Isaiah Stewart and Braxton being the, the Detroit uh, Pistons menace. But uh, Jaden Ivey, um, yeah, Jaden Ivey, you know, has been improved, been the most impressive person in preseason. I'm gonna do a video too if I can get to it. Well, I should be able to get to it about Fred Vincent and his impact. And you know, Fred Vincent made some great comments about a short time too. So I'm gonna talk about maybe pair them in a video. And you know he made some great comments um, about about a uh, you know about a short time some ability to pick it up, uh, the shooting up. So uh, you know it, it's it's a I think you know a lot of people don't speak on this. It's a gift to be able to pick something up. You know what I'm saying? And it's a gift to be able to pick something up quickly. It's a gift to be able to listen and do it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand. Like, that's a gift. To be able to listen and do something and do it the right way, that's a gift. Everybody can't do that. Usually those type of people are pretty good at school. But, uh, but yeah, nonetheless, um, but nonetheless, uh, man, maybe I should drive to the city because I need some gas. I don't like sitting in a half a tank. Like waiting at Sam's Club for gas. That's the main dollar question. I do need some. I don't want to be in a half. Mm, I gotta figure out this. So where the fuck is Sam's Club? That's a great question. Oh, uh, trying to figure some things out. Like. I'm all I'm all over the place. I'm trying to think right now. I don't like waiting for gas. I put a couple dollars in here. I go to the city tomorrow. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be lazy. But but yeah, man. Um, but yeah, you know, Jay Nivey, you know, pretty much said that. Uh, you know, Jay Nivey's improving. Excuse me. Uh, it's been you know a lot of people been feeling it. You know the way he playing and. And one of the improvements I'm seeing from them, just watching a little bit of it, is that they moving the basketball. The ball ain't sticking in one person's hands. And, you know, and, and obviously, Ivy worked this summer. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, he worked this summer. But that ball ain't sticking in, in one person's hand no more. And when that ball don't stick in one person's hand and that ball, that ball is moving around and everybody's sharing the basketball and... You know, everybody, you know, you know, Ivy's shining. They playing with pace. They getting up and down the floor. He playing with more control, being more efficient, taking care of the basketball. Mother's a coach, by the way. So thing, things are getting, uh, it's getting good for him, man. So, you know, uh, and maybe, you know, Monty being gone also re, uh, invigorate or reinvigorate him or invigorated him to begin with. And, you know, and also that contract ain't too far out the road too man for him that contract is coming up as well too so yeah a lot of people is, is happy and hopefully this preseason play transfers over to the regular season play uh for him so yeah man this this is you know he looking good so far um shooting the ball for him look a little bit better playing with a little bit more confidence and you know you know and i think he should think of himself you know not as a partner with Kay cunningham or a, a c or as as a I don't say a partner, not as a Robin, like dog, you you good as him. Some people think you better than him, possibly, depending on how you look at the game. Don't concede to him. Don't hand the keys over to him. This you know, because then they're gonna be saying we need another guy to help Cade out. Well, they you know you if you don't look at yourself as that guy, they won't look at you. You look at you as that guy neither. So he got to carry himself like he he that guy on the Pistons. Like him and, you know, K is uh, Tatum and Brown. You know, if he don't look at himself as in, that, in that type of vein, who will? So it seemed like he seemed more confident. It probably got something to do with Monty to being gone and that contract was a couple years away. And, you know, people saying that he had a, a what is it, a sophomore slump last year. So people kind of saying he fell off or he may not be that good or uh, a Benedict Mathern better than him or, uh, 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 Keegan Murray better than him and you know so we'll see but if they gonna make a jump it's gonna have a lot to do with him and it's gonna have a lot to do with systematically how they play basketball 
it's going to have a lot to do systematically how they play basketball. And it seemed like J.B. Bickerstaff, it seemed like they happier with him. Flat out, it seemed like they happier with J.B. Bickerstaff, you know? So, don't surprise me. Nonetheless, Isaiah Stewart talked about being the menace of the Detroit Pistons. He said he, and being back in the front court playing center, because uh, we know the front court is center forward forward, but for the most part, it's just the center at this point. The two forward positions is like, uh, how can I say it? They like uh, additional wings now. You know, you know, the power forward positions like another shooting guard, original small forward position, but. Uh, but um, he said enjoy it. <laughs> the physicality, throwing his body around, banging around, doing the dirty work. And that's why the Pistons keeping him around. He kind of had embodies that bad boy mentality, that going to work Piston mentality. He just don't have the talent. But, um, but yeah, he's a tough guy. You need those tough guys on the team. And you need those them enforcers on the team. I remember, I think, uh, Ivy rookie year, he tried to help a New York Nick up and uh, tried to help him up, and I, and Stewart slapped his hand. That's when I kind of really, I was like, I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't fuck with him at the foe, but his mentality, I love it. Gilbert Arenas talked that shit. He pulled up on Gilbert Arenas to say, what up, nah, Nick? So, you know, I like the idea of him being on the team and his mentality, but I think him being at the four, I'm going to be more of a fan of, because I think that's where his, 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 his ability lies, works the best at, so... Um, but that's why they love him so much. He, he's an enforcer. He's he's got a, a a mean spirit about him on the floor. You need those guys when the piss is successful. They got those those tough guys out there. They got those guys that's not scared to get their hands dirty. And you know that's why you keep them there. You know, energy guy, rebound guy. Um, I think playing a power four kind of tire, tired them out, chasing people off the three point line. You know what I'm saying? I think he'd be better kind of playing the power fours of the day. And he just got to figure out. You know, just outwork guys, outrun guys, outrun them centers up the floor, how to use his hands to, to rip the ball and be quicker, you know, like on some sleight of hand type stuff. So, you know, once he figure out his niche at the center position, he'd be just fine. But he is the Pistons' longest tenure Piston. He's the longest tenure guy in Detroit. So I find it interesting. But, yeah, he should, you know, he embraces that, you know, embraces that. So I feel like as he should. So, I mean, I think that's dope, and they probably need another one or two of them type of guys on the team. The NBA is so soft and feminine, and they wearing purses and blouses and all that stuff. Need more tough guys out there, so shout out to Rochester, New York. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase the chance to get notifications, check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist for more videos like this. Hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.